Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another different kind of video. Um, I told my friend Sarah um, that I would do this, I was thinking about doing this video. Um, this is one of those things where I am hesitant to do because it's a little more, it's a little more personal. Um, <laughs> it's not anything for entertainment value or anything like that. It's just a little more insight into me. Um, and that's what I do with my books that fall apart. Um, I have several books that have just decayed over the years to where they're nothing but pages. Um, some of them don't have... I even have one book that I found out the uh, the boards were pissed on or were covered in piss when I bought the book. Um, and I ripped those off, but I've been using the pages of that book for this kind of stuff. I do artwork. Um, and no, I'm not selling any. Sorry. Um, I did a long time ago, and it didn't go over too well. Well, it did go... It went over too well. Too well. Um, because I ended up, there was an eBay auction, and I made a pretty good amount of money off of it, but I said I'd refuse to do it again, because I don't, I don't want my, one of my last hobbies to become, I mean, my writing was a hobby, reading is a hobby, and that's almost become like a job. You know, I've been doing review requests, I don't make money off those, but I do review requests, and of course, I pay my bills with my writing. So, uh, this is Sam from, a uh, Trick or Treat, movie Trick or Treat. I have, everybody knows who this one is. But if you look on the back, this is actually a copy of Stephen King's Lisey's story. It might actually be one from Insomnia, too. I think this is from Insomnia. Yeah, Ralph. This is from Insomnia. This is from Lisey's story. Um, this books that I've read over and over and over again. But the most prevalent one is the Ebony one from my novel, The Sound of Broken... The, this is the cover artwork, the actual cover artwork. Let's see if I can get this without making a mess. I usually knock everything over. You guys know how I do. Um, stay up there, hat. But that is this. Just touched up in Photoshop. So, But if you look at this, this is actually a page from the book also. So I think this is Insomnia. Yeah, Ed Depenu. Yeah, this is uh, from Insomnia also. So yeah. That's what I do. Oh, and this is something I got in New York. That's not actually my artwork, but I put it over it for now until I actually get it. I'm not... Anybody else out there buy pictures expecting to buy frames at some point in time, and then you just never buy frames? That's me. All, all day, every day. It's like, th this isn't my artwork either. This is the same from the same guy who did the Lorne thing back here. This thing. This is a... Uh, I, I didn't care too much for it, because this is from my novel Cruelty. This is a scene from it, but... He made he made it too cutesy, um, so I'm not a huge fan of that. But uh, yeah. Oh, another thing. While I'm showing off artwork, this is another thing from another story that will come eventually. So I'm not going to give you the name because I don't want you to know what it looks like in case you read the book. But I also have some other artwork, and while we're here, we might as well go ahead and show you. Um, I not all of this is good or even decent. But it's just things that I do. I do a lot of rolling artwork. I'll just put paint on something and let it drip. So I would just put paint on it and then let it drip. I use this for uh, things for like cover art and other things that I'm not going to tell you about. Uh, things like this. And this looks almost like a, a black metal album cover. And then I have failures. This, these are actually canvases. This is me just goofing off trying to get things right. And then, like this, you have, this is actually used in uh, the limited edition of The Betting of Boys. It's a character from that. And then, if you've read The Sound of Broken Ribs, I even tried to do a scene from that, but I failed. So, but yeah, um, I do a lot of this stuff. Ooh, I got my pumpkin, man. I like, I like up-close faces, if you, if, you could, if you couldn't tell, I like the up-close faces. Um, this one I call Dinosaurs on Parade. This is another one of my drippy artworks. So, and these are actual canvases, but what I do um, with, that's, that's what I do with pages that fall out of books, or books that fall apart, I repurpose them for art. Um, I've also done some origami over the years. Um, that didn't work out quite as well as this stuff did. It's all dusty. Anywho, um, that's everything. I suppose if you have any questions or want to know anything else about me that you'd like me to do a video on, leave it down in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.